Hello, I'm Justin, and I'm back again to talk to you about Screenshot Layer. There might be times while you're using GPA where you want to make sure your rendered frame looks the way you expected. You might be applying experiments to change textures, buffers, or scissor regs to improve performance, but you want to see the visual impact of your changes. For this, you can use the Screenshot Layer. To get started with Screenshot Layer, edit to GPA Injector or as a pre-post layer to GPA Player. You'll also need to add the frames layer argument to tell GPA which frames you want to take a screenshot of. For example, this will take a screenshot of frame 200. This will take a screenshot of frames 30 to 40. This will take a screenshot of frames 38, 47, and 89. And this will take a screenshot of every 10 frames starting from frame 50. Finally, this will take a screenshot of every five frames between frame 30 and frame 70. Remember, frame numbers start at one. Screenshot layer is very handy in helping you verify that your frame is rendered correctly, and it allows you to see changes in your experiments even if you've rendered off screen. Additionally, when doing regression testing, if you have screenshots from past captures, you can do a quick visual check. Try out the screenshot layer to help your profiling process. Thanks for watching. Check back soon for our next episode of Intel GPA Framework Quick Tips. Remember to like this video and subscribe to the Intel Software YouTube channel. And to learn more about this topic, follow the links in the description.